thoughts on the Spanish filmmaker Luis Bunuel? Bunuel, I've seen, uh, like like uh, Pasolini, I've seen no more than maybe four of his films. He's a bit better than Pasolini. Um, uh, I can't even, just to give you an example, I can't even remember the films, the names of some of these films because they're so just dull, stupefyingly bad. Um, uh, do you have a, a name? Uh, I, I know I've got two or three Bunuel reviews up on Cosmoetic. I, I, I think you reviewed uh, Belle du Jour, um, and there were a couple other ones as well. Yeah, Belle du Jour, uh, again, that's sort of like, uh, that's sort of like uh, um, contempt in that it has, you know, the gorgeous Catherine Deneuve, and she's a pleasure to look at, just like the other one had Bardot, but uh, it, it, it's just dull. Then I, then a, a couple of his earlier 60s religious movies I watched and reviewed, and uh, Bunuel is another one of these guys that's got this God awfully high reputation, and his cinematography sucks. His his screenplays suck. Uh, there's no characterization. Uh, supposedly, some of the films are taking political stances or religious stances, and so what? I mean, that they, they don't offer anything of any depth, and you just you just watch them, and you just sort of you just sort of staggered by how bad they are. Um, and then you look at someone like an Antonioni by con by contrast, and Antonioni does everything in his films. A Bergman at his best does everything in his films. And I don't know whether it was, it's just laziness on the part of the Pasolinis or the Bunuels or that ilk, but uh, there's, there's just really nothing there, and the, there's no images that stand out. And it's not even so bad that you can enjoy it like, uh, you know... Like some of these films that uh, I know you and other people have forwarded around uh, uh, on our little list of a time like this Tommy Wiseau guy who does uh, the Room or or the Troll Two people. I mean, at least those films you can get a little kind of pleasure from. But Bunuel is more or less a snore. I would I would probably say if you took Carl Theodore Dreyer, the fellow who did Vampire and who did. Um, a couple of other excellent films, although he did the, the later Gertrude, but he did some excellent films earlier on in his career. Bunuel is trying to be Carl Theodore Dreyer, but he doesn't have the talent. He doesn't have the visuals. He doesn't have the storytelling ability. So he's he's sort of one of one of those artists that's always sort of a lesser version of another artist that's better. <laughs>